Hey guys, I'm David DiMuzio, and I've been getting a ton of requests on how to play the song Forevermore by Side A, so I'm going to teach you the chords you need to know. Uh, this is probably my favorite English OPM song. Definitely my top three favorite. I love this song. So it's uh, the, the chords are a little bit sort of complicated, uh, but not too bad, and they're really interesting. This is one of the most interesting chord progressions maybe I've ever heard ever in any song. It's really cool, and it's just very musical. So it's going to start off, um, it's in the key of E. Now David Archuleta also did a cover version of this song, but he did it in the key of E flat. So if you want to play along with the David Archuleta version, which is actually the version that I learned from, um, then you actually want to tune your guitar down a half step to play along with David Archuleta. I, I think the original version though is just an E, I'm pretty sure. Um, I actually learned with the David Archuleta version though, so this is exactly like the David Archuleta version. Okay, except that it's in the original key, I think, which is E. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna start off and it's uh, an E chord and you're going to, uh, I'm not gonna teach the plucking pattern for most of the song, but I'll teach it for certain parts. The rest of it, I just sort of uh, mess around as I'm going and I don't really do it the same ever twice. So I'll just teach you the basics and then I'll teach you all the chords. All right, so it's gonna start off the intro. Um, you're gonna play an E chord, regular E chord and pick uh, just uh, with um, just with your fingers is probably the easiest way. Pick um, the E string and then the A string and then you're going to pick the D string um, and pick the D string and the G string at the same time, okay? Alright, so it's gonna go E string, A string, and then D and G at the same time. And then you're gonna pick the um, D and G strings together again, but this time you're going to take your um, your ring finger off and you're gonna pick the D string open, all right? So it'll sound like this. So you're gonna play like this. Got it? So the second time that you pick the uh, D and G strings together, you're going to uh, just yeah play the D string open. One more time. And then you're going to play an A chord, all right? But just play, um, just play the top three notes of the A chord. So it's like an A power chord, and you play this. All right, so now the intro is gonna go like this. The E chord to what is an E uh, dominant seventh chord, and then to an A chord. A. So E, E dominant seventh to A just does that a couple of times. That's the intro and it also happens at the turns and the uh, the outro. All right so um, the very outro outro. Now the verse is going to start on an E chord again and usually when I'm picking these chords um, you're going to play whatever the bass note is with your thumb. Play that with your thumb and then I pretty much just always pick the uh, middle strings the uh, D, G, and B strings. So I'll play whatever the bass note is so if that's an E, and then I'll play, uh, just pick the D, G, and B strings. So like that. So I'll just pick however many of those I can given the amount of time. So it'll go like this. Um, I'll play through the entire verse and then I'll teach you the chords. So now I'll just play through it. Ready? the whole verse. Now what that is, it starts on an E chord and then you're going to go to a um, B chord with a E flat and the bass, all right? And what that is, is you can just take with your um, index finger and you'll hold down the uh, fourth fret at the D, G, and B strings. And then you'll take with your um, ring finger and you'll put it right here at an E flat, which is the sixth fret on the A string. So that's the second chord. A third chord is a C sharp minor chord. And then 
then uh, fourth chord is a B chord. Fifth chord is going to be an A chord, but um, you're going to take and place your pinky, just play a regular A, but place your pinky right here at the fourth fret on the uh, high E string. So it makes it like an E major seventh, okay? And you're going to go like this. So that's the one where you're not going to play um, the, the middle three strings. Instead, you're going to pick that high E string. So. And then you're going to go to an F sharp, and then to a B chord. And then you're going to do that again, E, to a B with an E flat in the bass, C sharp minor, B, to an A major seventh, because you hit that note, and then F sharp minor. And then for this, um, this is the only difference the second time you play through that when you're about to go into the pre-chorus. You're going to play a B chord, but probably you don't want to play the, uh, the G string, just play these notes. Because you're going to really quickly move from that B bass note right here, the second fret, you're going to move that up to, um, to a C bass note right here. Which that's what gives it that little transitional sound. It'll go like this. Got that? So you probably just want to pick that like this. And then it goes into the pre-chorus. So one more time though the verse, I'll play all the way through it and I'll explain um, I'll explain uh, the chords or I'll say the chords as I'm playing through it. E, B with the E flat in the bass, C sharp minor, B, A major seventh, F sharp minor, B, E, B with the E flat in the bass, C sharp minor, B, A major 7th, and then F sharp minor, B, B with the C in the bass, and then into the uh, pre-chorus. So I'll play the pre-chorus, and I'll play it all the way through, and then I'll explain it, same like I did with the verse. It's going to start with the C sharp minor, and then it goes F sharp minor, and then B, and then this little bass thing, and then B dominant seventh. Okay, so I'll yeah explain that all the way through. So pre-chorus is C sharp minor, F sharp minor, B. B with the A in the bass, B with the G sharp in the bass, B dominant seventh. All right, so that's the whole thing. Um, so yeah, you just play uh, C sharp minor. You know how to play a C sharp minor, F sharp minor, and then when you go to that B um, that does a little bass walk down, what you'll do is you'll play a regular uh, B bar chord. So you go dun 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 dun, and then. You just lift off your index finger and you play now, um, instead of that B note right here, you play it open, play an open A. And then still keep holding down at the fourth fret um, your uh, G, D, and B strings. So now you play it like this. And then you're going to lift up with your middle finger and you're going to play a G sharp right here. That's the bass note. But now keeping the um, fourth fret G. Uh, D, G, and B strings held down. And then finally finishes on that uh, B dominant seventh. So B dominant seventh, you're gonna play, or also you call it B7, you're gonna play the B note, second fret, right here. Um, and then fourth fret at the uh, D string. And then because you're barring, you're gonna now be playing the uh, second fret at the G string. 4th fret at the B string, and 2nd fret at the E string. So these are the notes for a B 7th. Alright, so play it through one more time. Uh, yeah. Pre-chorus is C sharp minor, F sharp minor, to B, B with the A in the bass, B with the G sharp in the bass, B dominant 7th. Alright, so that's the whole pre-chorus. Now into the chorus.